Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. Now, this is Siobhan McDonough, a member of the Treasury Cross-Party Select Committee. And on Monday, she was part of the the Treasury Committee that was uh, scrutinising our fishy rishi. And t- due to ca- time constraints, they, they were only allowed about um, seven, min- seven and a half minutes of time. And... Clearly, our fishy rishi's plan was, yeah, the more I waffle, the less questions I'll answer. Well, Siobhan McDonough, she was going to have none of it. And if she saw an ounce of waffle, she thought, well, I'll just stop you there and I'll just give you the, the answer myself and I'll move on to the next question. And to say he ruffled, she ruffled him was an understatement. Enjoy. Thank you. Um, Chancellor, um, I'm sure you would agree that challenge, given the challenges facing public finance, it's vital that all taxpayer uh, funded support is targeted to reach those households generally struggling with a cost of living crisis. How many second homeowners will receive an £800 discount to their energy bills? Uh, I completely agree. It's right that we target uh, support where it's most... That's 772,000 households or £620 million. How many people own three homes and are therefore in line to get £1,200? Sorry, are you carrying on, George? Do you want to finish? No, no, I'm I'm just wanting you to know how much money is going to people... Oh, the arrogance of him. (laughs) (laughs) Because <laughs> I think she's got a point. People who some of us would think probably don't need that help. Yes, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. There will be some people who, who don't need the help. Uh, that is, uh, unfortunately, the consequence of having to do policy in practical terms. And I think we, we were talking previously about providing support on a more universal basis. So assuming you agree with that, uh, which you may not, and that's fair enough, in which case fine, but if you do agree that you need to provide support on a more universal basis, given the scale of the challenge, then you have to think, well, how best can we do that? There are 61,000 people who own three properties who will benefit to the tune of £1,200. That's a £73 million taxpayer-funded windfall. How much will you help will you get with your energy bills? Actually, I'm donating mine to charity, so I made that clear a couple of weeks ago. So again, just to, to answer your question... that's very philanthropic, well, Ch- Chancellor, but isn't it being philanthropic with other people's money? Uh, as Mrs Thatcher famously said, there is no such thing as government money, there's only taxpayer money. Yeah. Um, at a time when the total tax burden has risen to the highest level since the 1940s, Is it really good use of taxpayer money for somebody on the Sunday Times rich list or indeed for any MP or government minister to be receiving second home support when others are choosing between eating and heating? I think the Labour Party policy was a VAT cut which would have done the same thing but potentially even more so because it's linked directly to the size of your energy bill. What's that got to do with it? They're not been in power for about 12 years, you tit. That, that, that would equally apply to that policy, and that's the challenge with universal policies, that they apply to everyone. So, uh, actually, a VAT cut could be even more generous if your energy bill was yeah, particularly but large, which if you about, had a very, very large home... We're asking you about your been... choices and your policies. I mean, what? is there any reason why um, you couldn't tackle people receiving multiple rebates by the, through the self-assessment tax return, like you do with child benefit? So, no, we actually had really only uh, two ways to do something like this. I mean, you could have done VAT, uh, as the Labour Party proposed, but what we're doing, I I believe, will be more generous to those on lower middle incomes than VAT. Sorry, Chancellor, what I'm asking you is why you couldn't have ameliorated the system you chose uh, by using the self-assessment tax tax assessment, just like you do for child benefit, or perhaps you could help use local authorities who are completely aware of who owns second homes. Right, because we're delivering something through the energy bill system. Uh, what we have through local authorities is the council tax system. And we could, uh, you're right, you can use a council tax system uh, to do this. But as we're seeing 
currently with the delivery of the £150 rebate, that comes with its own set of challenges as well. And we wanted to make sure that the help got to people in as effective and efficient manner as possible. Uh, and, and that's why we've chosen to do it through energy bills. Now, you could choose to do it through council tax bills. De definitely, that's an option. Uh, but we, you know, we chose to do it more universally than that, so as not to have people excluded, uh, whereas the council tax system is only a rough proxy for household income. It's not a perfect proxy. It's only a rough proxy. So Could it not be a question of timing? Uh, for five months, you <coughs> resisted Labour's calls for a windfall tax, uh, adding £53 million to Britain's household bills for every day that you dithered. Um, so why was it, after five months, um, in the week of the Sue, Sue Gray Party Gate report, you felt it was necessary to intervene? Well, well, the reason we interviewed when we did was very clearly and simply because we had more clarity about what was going to happen to energy bills in the autumn. And as we were talking that about that particular before, week, well, actually, you heard from Ofgem uh, that particular week. But we're also at the end of May, about two thirds of the way through the observation window for the price cap, uh, the way the methodology works, and that seems to be a reasonable balance between having enough information to have good clarity on what the price cap is going to be so that you can size and scale the support appropriately uh, but, and going early enough to provide reassurance. There is a pattern of behaviour going. When the government gets in crisis, taxpayer money can be thrown at everything in order to get off the hook. Surely we should have more respect for people who go out to work and pay their tax and are finding it very tough at the moment? And that's why we announced very significant support to help them. And done, actually, after we knew what the size of the problem was, that we meant that we can get the support right, which, had, had we done something months ago, uh, actually, as, as other people were saying, it probably wouldn't have been sized appropriately, and we wouldn't have been able to then make sure we provide the reassurance that, that we were able to do, which I'm glad, I'm glad we've done, and I do believe helps people who need it. Uh, but no policy is perfect, and people may have other ways that they think they can deliver universal support. Uh, from our perspective, actually having gone through all the options, I, I don't think there is a better way to do it. Uh, I, 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 we've erred on the side of being universal. I think that's the right thing to do. Uh, now, you, you might disagree with that and say that we shouldn't be giving uh, money to those on middle incomes. I think we should. And then once I don't you think get... we should be giving money to people who own three homes, no. No, so then, then you need to have an alternative way to get people on middle incomes. But perhaps if you did things at the right people. time, you'd have the time to consider how you could do that. As I said, I, it, it's, not, uh, it's not possible that we found a way to do it. But as I said, if there's an alternative that you found, you, please do let us know. But as a, having looked at the various delivery options that were in is that a Tom Pers glove strop coming on? In front of us, actually, this is, we think, the most effective way to get support to a very large number of people uh, in a way that will be timely and, and help them uh, where, where they need to. <laughs> I want to see brilliant. No messing about. She wasn't going to take any of his nonsense. Well done, Siobhan McDonough. And let's be honest, when it comes to the this... Um, money given to those with even second and third homes do, does have a little whiff of um what's the word of dodginess doesn't it well i do hope you enjoy the video and um till the next time i shall bid you farewell and take care